Well, um, I'm obviously back and uh, I'm back to recording. I had to, I really had to take a, uh, a little sanity break, uh, partially from the game, but also uh, I just wanted to uh, just take a little bit of time to myself and play my own games. Uh, I started a new account in Unison League, which is uh, a game that I've played like literally in the middle of some videos before, and I made another account uh, that I've been playing on. But, you know, sometimes, like, when you, uh, you upload videos daily, as I try to do, sometimes after a while, after, like, several months of, uh, daily uploads, you just kind of want just to take a little personal break from time to time, and that's what, uh, and that's what I had going on there, but I also, uh, I also was getting kind of miffed at the game, uh, and I already I already have this guy blacklisted, so um, that's always a good start. And I have this guy blacklisted as well, so we're automatically off to a, an amazing start here. So, uh, oh yeah, and I also still have Stewie over here, so there's that. Uh, I think for right now, uh, first things first, threats to my ship is the Malta because CVs. Um, Stalingrad has radar. Uh, Marseille reload booster. Janan is nasty up close, but not too bad otherwise. Summers split has radar. And Salmon for destroyer and submarine threats. So all things considered, not too, too bad matchmaking. There's not a whole lot of hydro going around. Only two other destroyers to worry about, and a submarine and a carrier. And I can smoke up against the Somers. I can probably smoke up against the Salmon if I have to. And I can smoke up against the Malta. So, honestly, it's not too, too bad matchmaking. And Stalingrad's over there, so that's always uh, a good thing for me. CV's going to grief someone else, at least for the time being. So that's also good for me. Um, I don't want to charge head first into a uh, A here, because uh, if I get face checked, I'll be forced to smoke. And someone is running RPF, which uh, I've already gone over probably more than enough times on exactly what I think of RPF and randoms. Uh, so I'm not going to go over it too much again, but I do think RPF is a waste of a skill in randoms. And I might make a, like a full-on, like, straight dedicated video as to why that is uh, in the future. But for right now, I'm just going to focus on what's in front of me. And that Stalingrad is going will be able to reach over here with his radar, which is very annoying, if I'm being honest. Those look like Summer's Torps. Yeah, those are definitely Summer's Torps right there. Uh, those are four racks, or three racks of four, rather. So yeah, those are 110% Summer's Torps. I'm gonna smoke up here. Because I don't want to be, uh spotted open water shooting right in front of a uh, Janan. Smoke screen set. This torpe there's a submarine over here as well. We take those. Uh, let's see. It is pretty unlucky for him, though, that he ate a Bowen Torp like that, but, you know, I'm definitely not going to complain. Uh, 
Oof, he just got balanced by a uh, sap pretty hard there. Those were blind shots, too. There we go. A is now secure. Uh, we have a GK, we have an Amalfi, and a uh, Salmon to deal with that Bismarck. So, uh, A is not something I have to worry about right now. There's a Salmon over there as well, but that should still be okay. I think right now what I'm going to try and do is I'm probably going to look to uh, step into B here and uh, bait the Stalingrad radar. And while the Marseille will have shots on, well, I don't even have to bait the radar now. He's just popping it right away, so. Uh, I might look at trying to get a shot on that, a torpedo shot on that Shikishima, but I honestly don't think it's going to happen, at least not anytime soon, because he's playing a very passive game over there. So, I'm not too worried about him. What I am worried about is this fucking Malta. That's just going to be a very annoying to deal with. And, yeah. Honestly, if I had slowed down there, I probably would have been okay. But, and of course he's turning towards me. Son of a bitch. And, uh, now I'm having to just sit here with Shima AA. Fuck you. Kinda wanted to try and turn and get a uh, a gun shot off on that split, but oh well. Didn't happen. And of course he's And the Stalingrad's dropping uh, ASW planes on me, cause uh, your typical, typical randoms player, I guess. Son of a! Is that the fucking Marseille from 14 kilometers, or was that the fucking Cheeky? I don't even know. Either way, fuck that guy, I guess. I honestly could try and rush to Stalingrad if he tries to push up, but I don't think he's going to. I think what's m more fucking likely, aside from me getting off of the rock, uh, what's more likely is this guy, the incomparable and the uh, whatever the hell that's pronounced, uh, he's going to want to reverse away from these two like, like he's doing right there. And he's also going to want to try and uh, angle away from those torpedo bombers so I think right now eh, no I think he's just gonna sit on that island all game like he has been so I'm honestly I'm more looking to put some to finally put some torpedoes into that Shiki cuz this Stalingrad's not interested in reversing out in front of my torpedoes even though there's an incomparable about to walk at his face uh, he's still he's he's still accelerating, so I think uh, this Sheik is about to be my target here. I also do need to watch the uh, Marseille though, and make sure I'm not about to get face checked by him. Yeah, like that. There we go. And I'm radared. 
That's, uh, that's pretty rude of that Stalin, if I'm being honest. I don't think he even meant to spot me with that. Of course, the sheik is turning all the way away. Now that I was spotted like that. Uh, I don't think it's worth using uh I don't think it's worth using a torp spread on the Stalin. He's about to die to the end comp there. Although once uh, he, once he does die There we go. I have a lot more freedom now to do what I want. Also, I'm pretty sure this Marseille is running RPF. Oof, this is about to cut it real close. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put a torp out spread out. And is Marseille going to turn hard? He is. Yeah, he's definitely hard turning in there. I wanted to... I'm hoping those torpedoes on that Shiki are going to be good. I don't think they are. They're going to be behind, I think. Oh, nope. They're perfect. Never mind. Should have fired all my racks at him, but kind of wanted to have one for this, uh, for this Marseille. I honestly could smoke up and shoot at him here, which is honestly what I'm about to do. Really? Moss was not spotting him? Here is a curtain. Also, uh, never mind. Those shots were perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. He's about to push into hydro range there. Uh, Columbo should be dying here soon, so that's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not even in Benson Torp range, if I'm being honest. And he was also so low health. I don't know what those torps are for, but whatever. Uh, he is about to have. Spenson is gonna ha about to have Marseille problems here, though. I'm gonna put torps out like this. No stand a chance of hitting the Takeo as well. Takeo, Takao, however it's said. Eh, oh no, that Marseille is about to burn out. No, he's not. He's about to get yo- No, he's not gonna get Yodoed. Well, he's probably about to die to the San Martin. San Martin, San Martin, whatever. Yep. And we just, uh, thousand pointed them. Oh well. Kinda wanted to try and put some torps into that Shiki there, but, uh, didn't happen, so that's unlucky. I'd say that was a, a decent game back. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, again, like normal, with more videos, so, yeah, I'll see you then.